Russians killing their own wounded soldiers with drones to prevent capture. Russian forces are killing their own troops using drones so they can't be captured by Ukraine, Kyiv's military and security services have claimed, according to the Kyiv Post. Spokesman for the Tauride Defense Forces, Alexander Strupun, made the claim, saying, The fact is that the Russians do not allow their soldiers to surrender. There have been cases when Russian drones have killed their own wounded. Andrei Yusov, a representative of Ukrainian intelligence, told the Kyiv Post such incidents have been recorded repeatedly, including by Ukrainian aerial reconnaissance using drones. Referring to the documented cases of Russian units firing on their comrades trying to escape the front lines, he said, barrier units and killing their own soldiers is what the Russian army is really using against its own. Those who refuse to go into battle and carry out criminal orders or go on meat assaults. This is all a tactic of terror and intimidation of our own people in order to reduce the number of refuseniks, deserters and those who voluntarily surrender. This is actually a reaction to the fact that there are quite a few people willing to surrender to Ukrainian captivity, he added. According to Ukrainian figures, over the past three weeks, around 80 Russians have surrendered in the Tavria sector, one of the hottest areas of fighting around the besieged town of Avdiivka. Russia's apparent tactic of killing its own troops to avoid them being captured poses a practical problem for Ukraine. Fewer prisoners to swap for captured Ukrainian soldiers. Yusuf added, no matter how much we hate the Russian occupiers and invaders, of course, replenishing Russian prisoners in Ukrainian captivity is also important to speed up the return of our defenders from Russian captivity. While there is currently no video evidence specifically of drones being used by Russia to kill its own troops, there are plenty of examples of them using other methods.